must be really proud of the way the boys played today. Yeah, so absolutely. It's disappointing to lose, but I yep. must be impressed by the way they went about it. It is. It's disappointing when you when you put that much effort into something and don't come away with the result you want. It's disappointing, but if there's one thing you ask from a group of footballers is they come off giving their all and putting everything into the cause that you're chasing. Um, the boys did that today, and, and I'm certainly proud to have been a part of it. Where do you think we weren't quite there, Dan? Look, I think that they got the game on their terms a bit, um, especially in that second quarter. I mean, it was a tight game all day on the scoreboard, but they did... They did get the ball out on their terms at certain times, and I reckon that was probably the difference in the game in the end on the scoreboard. We we had our opportunities, but we just lacked a little bit of scoreboard pressure, and I think if we could have taken a few opportunities that we missed yeah. out on, I reckon that could have been the difference in the game. Um, Lockhart was uh, good in patches. It probably wasn't a standout for us, is that the way you say it? Yeah, it was just one of those games where you needed a good even contribution across the board, and I thought we got that. I thought Tom Couch was exceptional for us. But yeah, we had a lot of players play their role well. But the standout on the day, we didn't have a standout, so to speak. It was a good collective effort without coming away with a win. Um, were you surprised by the low score of the match given the conditions today? No, not really. We knew that we needed to keep the ball in. Um, they're a side that's pretty much been thrown together. They don't have the luxury to train together like we do so we knew they're just going to want to come down and play a positive brand of footy and they're going to just want to shift the footy as open and as spread the ball as wide as they could as often as they could so we knew we wanted to keep the ball in tight so we wanted a nice tight contest we achieved that but there was times we just didn't take our opportunities. I thought uh, Tassie defence was under immense pressure at times yep. today um, yep. who impressed you uh, in that back six back eight? I thought as a collective the, the back the back line were good all day. Um, they were undersized, there's no doubt about that. They certainly had us for height and, and mobility in the air, but I just thought the way the, the boys stood together and, and worked as a unit was very pleasing, but certainly were, were caught um, short a few times. Oh, not more. Yeah, I got more boys. Yeah. I, I actually thought Jay Lockhart, after a slow first term, um, was sensational um, yep. in the last three quarters. I think he had about eight or nine rebound fifties. Yep. Um, showed a lot of composure. Um, there's yeah. been a bit of talk about him lately. What do you think? Do you think he's done his chances of uh, looking at AFL any any harm today? Or no, not, not at all. I think um, he's he's an outstanding player and he's one of the state's best, which is why he's here. But in a in a contested highly contested type game, he showed at times that he had an ability to find space and and hit targets when others had trouble doing that, so yeah, he was certainly very good for us. Any idea who your opponents are for future representative matches at this stage? Oh, I believe we've got the Sandfall next year, so um, and then I think we've got the bye the year after that, it works in a bit of a roster system. So. Mm. Uh, Tom Couch said, mate, the uh, Tassie boys need more exposure to high-level football. Do you think that uh, was planned out today? Is that, is that so yeah. where we got to found out a little bit? We weren't yep. quite um, up to that intensity? Yeah, absolutely. And they had some young young leagues as well. Like um, they, they had an average age of 23, so you can see what sort of squad they picked um, with some more experienced key players. Um, but their, their legs through the middle were certainly younger. And, um, their ability to cover the ground was exactly what we thought it would be. Yeah. But um, that's why we wanted to keep it in close. But Tom Couch's article was spot on. Yeah. And uh, and what have you learned from this experience, mate? Oh, I've just learned a lot about um, a lot of different things. But I'll tell you what, the, I've learned that um, if you want to pull on that Guernsey, you've got to bring everything and toughness and all that commitment that comes along with it to the table. And if we can continue to put up that sort of effort, the results will turn for us. That's for sure. We've had a little bit of unlucky with a few key personnel, I suppose, so to speak, that weren't fitted at the right time and probably had some injury worries, so that was disappointing. But at the end of the day, I couldn't be happy with the 23 that played today. Um, I think the TSL this year, um, certainly from someone coming from an outside perspective into an inside perspective, covering it with a couple of the other boys here, um, has shown that there's a uh, strong strong sort of uh, core group of younger players coming through. Do you think there's that second tier and second wave of young guys ready to pull on the map uh, probably in 12 months' time? Yeah, I hope so. I certainly hope so. Um, you don't effectively know until you get to the next season and um, 
certainly start announcing a squad and get the guys together, but I'd certainly hope that was the case. You must be thrilled with the way the boys got together and got a win against a pretty tough opposition today. Yeah, it's probably, um, I don't know about thrilled is the word, you know, you, rep footy is a little bit different. You, you come to get a job done, you get your job done and uh, you enjoy each other's company, you know. But to know they're, they're very good. They, um, uh, both sides had a, had a really red hot crack and school level was pretty high, the intensity was there and um, you know, I think both, both teams exhibited a, you know, a, a real character building performance, so that's good. <coughs> How did you view the matchup between uh, Jack Anthony and Nick McKenna up forward? It was an interesting one. I, I think both of them at, at different stages had control of each other. You know, uh, um, Jack took a couple of good grabs. If he kicks his couple of goals that he probably should have got extra, then you'd say he had a, had a pretty good game. But um, uh, overall, it was a, a, a bit of a dour struggle from both of them, and, um, and it was interesting to, to see him play man on man a bit, so it was good. Uh, both of your Jordans, Harper and Keris, uh, were pretty impressive today. I think uh, 30 to 33 touches. Yeah, they and, both uh, had a fair bit of the ball. Yeah, um, do you think that they um, <coughs> look ready to make the next step up as mature AJFL potential draftees? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a hard call. Um, Jordy Harper is, what, 24 now, I think, 23, 24. Um, you know, you'd like to, he has the ability, I believe, to, to play it, but whether a club is going to look at a bloke at that age with with his lighter frame um, is debatable, I suppose. Uh, that's possibly why he hasn't got there at this stage. Whereas Keris, it goes the other way. You know, he's, uh, he, he's got a fantastic body, he's super fit, um, and he's, you know, he's a contested beast. And... Uh, you know, he's, but he, he's and his kicking skills possibly let him down. But it's not for me to judge or, or, or whatever. They, you know, they're going to be judged by the people that are looking to employ them, if, if that's the case. There's quite a few AFL players with AFL list experience in your squad. Do you, how, can you kind of describe the influence they had on some of the younger guys in the squad? Throughout well, the last couple of weeks? yeah, but uh, we, you can say that we've got AFL listed players. Um, most of, the, most of them are young kids. Um, you know, they've been on the Sydney Swans list or they've been on, on say, with the Giants or, or whatever they've been, but they're only 19 and 20, you know, the Reinhards and, and uh, Hiscock and, and those sort of blokes. So, so there was a, there's a, quite a number of them. Um, the AFL experience, well, you know, Grossi, I thought, I thought was sensational as a, as, a cap, you know, as a captain and leader. I don't think he got beaten in a contest all day down in the back half of the ground. And... Uh, um, and then he was able to get out and be third man up and, and things as well. So, um, and you know, Gab was an unlucky 19-year-old. Went to Port Adelaide, you know, a long way from home in Brisbane. Um, uh, Port Adelaide were up and about at that time. Um, found it a bit difficult to settle, I suppose, and and, and returned home to Brisbane. And so, uh, people you look at it and go, oh, he's played AFL footy. Well, he's never he's been on a list, but he's never played footy um, at that level. Um, you know, Jack Anthony's been a bit of a journeyman. Um, it was was really good in his early years at Collingwood, and then uh, you know, went, even in Jack's own admission, he all of a sudden his career was over in, in Western Australia before he knew it. Um, and, and so he, he's, yeah, but he, he's he's a, a positive influence around the group as well. Um, who else is there that fits that bill? Probably, you know, probably nobody else that that's an experienced AFL player like. Um, yeah, most of them uh, they're, they're they're younger blokes, uh, and as I said, we you know we have the difficulty of not training together. Like yesterday's really a first training session together, so uh, um, from that point of view, it's 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 very pleasing that they gelled so quickly and, and appreciate each other's efforts and um, and understand what it's about. I think your squad uh, had a reported average age of 23. Did you guys yeah. go with youth to give these guys? <coughs> Bit more of an exposure to rep for you. Oh, uh, yes and no, not not deliberately. Um, we, we picked the criteria for selection. Basically, was players in form and players for positions. Um, we didn't play, play, didn't select players out of position, uh, really, and we and we didn't select players if they were just on, on reputation because they'd been at an AFL club or or because they'd been an outstanding junior. If they if they weren't getting a kick at local level, then. Um, 
they, they didn't really get looked at. So, so we've you know we paid attention to select the, and the other side of it was we wanted blokes that were were quality people. Um, you know we didn't want to be bringing away people that we knew might have ability but weren't going to m- contribute to a team environment. So. You know, we don't have the ability to build that over a period of time. We had to have that from day one, so that, that's what it's been about there. Uh, one more, who impressed you from Tassie today? It, obviously, from a team point of view, uh, they're pretty good in the contest, but are there any individuals that stood out for you? Oh, you, you had two or three, but, you know, I suppose uh, even later in the game, as the game wore on, we knew that, you know, Bowden was your, the player that... That you were going to head towards, um, and he, we, you know, we said to Barton, um, mate, you got to play on him and uh, try and curb any influence that he can have because he's the one they'll go to. He, he's the one that can stand up. We, we know he's a, you know, a good, good big time player, and um, and that's uh, he was the one that probably got out the most. Um, uh, you, you, your little fella on the wing. Um, Number five, uh, Lockhart. Lockhart was was very good. He he had the ability to uh, drop off the off the play and get in behind and be an extra player for you, um, and he give us a bit of grief, you know. Um, and we had to send Harper to actually play closer to him. It was all right, Geordie going and getting a few kicks, but it doesn't count for anything if they're going in there and then come, coming straight back out quickly. And that was happening a, a bit, especially in the third quarter and. Um, Geordie's shutting down there a little bit as well.